equity markets, good morning to you. If you look at GMM and you look at the map, you're seeing this real pressure come on mm -hmm. elements like the Kospi and, and Asia-orientated indices. U.S. equity markets are, are trying to find their feet. Your assessment of risk this morning. Well, first, you know, I think the, the market was due for a correction. You know, if you think about it, yesterday was the first day in 76 days where we saw a more than 1% pullback on the S&P 500. The market has been up 13 of the last 16 weeks. So there was a need of catalyst, you know, for a pullback. Now, you know, looking forward, if it, this is reminiscent of the SARS, you know, we might see more de-risking. There are mm -hmm. cu currently some fear selling. It's all, we're also getting into the tax season, so we might see also some tax selling. But again, you know, if history repeats itself, it might create a buying opportunity, you know, down the line. Again, maybe some more de-risking, but, you know, ultimately uh, an occasion to come back to the market. Charles-Henri, good to speak to you today. Where do you see the best buying opportunities then in the event of pullbacks in various risk markets? I think, you know, the, hi Nira, the, 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 in terms of equity markets, you know, the geography which is the most affected uh, <coughs> is, is going to be emerging markets. Uh, we know also from the, from the SARS that uh, usually European equity markets you know, are affected. So I think the, 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 the buying opportunity will be in this region will suffer the most. Uh, we have a preference, you know, on the medium to long term basis for emerging markets, uh, including uh, uh, China. So we believe that this would be an occasion to come back on, the, on, on China.